So for the car to pass the train, the car needs to travel not only the length of the train, but also the distance that the train travels during that time. And that time interval is basically what the first part of this question is asking us to find. So there are a few different ways to represent the distance the car travels. One way to do it is to use the standard speed equation. Remember that according to the speed equation, the distance something travels is equal to its speed multiplied by its time. So the distance the car travels is equal to the speed of the car multiplied by the time interval, the time it takes to catch up. However, we can also represent this in terms of the distance the train is traveling. Because again, the car also needs to travel the length of the train and however far the train travels. So the distance the car travels can also be represented as the length of the train plus the distance the train travels. Again, distance is speed times time. So that's the speed of the train multiplied by the exact same time interval. So the first part of the problem is asking us to find the amount of time t. So since both of these formulas accur accurately represent the distance the car travels, let's just set them equal to each other. So the speed of the car times time is equal to the length of the train plus the speed of the train multiplied by time. So using the numbers given to us in the problem, the speed of the car is 95 kilometers per hour. So 95t is equal to the length of the train, which is 1.3 kilometers, 1.3, plus the speed of the train, which is 75 kilometers. And now we just gotta solve this for t. So let's subtract both sides of this equation uh, se minus 75t. So you end up with 20t on the left hand side equals 1.3. And then divide both sides of the equation by 20. And so the time is 1.3 divided by 20. So that is 0 0.065 hours. That's the amount of time which we can convert into minutes by multiplying by, let's see, so one hour is 60 minutes. So we're just multiplying by 60 for 60 minutes. So that gives us 3.9 minutes. So that answers the first part of the problem. The next part asks, how far will the car have traveled during this time? And well, we already established a nifty formula earlier for the distance the car travels. It's just the speed of the car multiplied by the time. And we know the time now. So the distance the car travels is equal to the speed of the car, which is 95 kilometers per hour, multiplied by the time, which we established is 0 0.065 hours. So the hours cancel out, and we end up with a distance of 6.2 kilometers. So the car has traveled 6.2 kilometers. The next part of the problem asks for what if the car and the train are traveling in opposite directions. So we'll use the same method, but now the signs in front of the speeds are switched. So now, uh, so in the first part of the problem, we said that in order for the car to pass the train, the car needed to travel the length of the train plus the distance the train travels. Here it's opposite. Now the car needs to travel the length of the train minus the distance the length travels. So we'll basically be using like this exact same equation, except this is gonna be a big fat minus sign. So the same equation as before, 95 kilometers per hour multiplied by time is equal to 1.3 kilometers, the length of the train, except now it's minus 75 T. So once again though, we will solve for T so we'll add 75t to both sides of the equation. So we end up with 170 kilometers per hour t on the left side equals 1.3. And then to find the time, we divide both sides by 170. So the time is equal to 1.3 divided by 170. And this in our calculator is equal to 7.65 
times 10 to the power of negative 3 hours. Which, let's just convert this into seconds so that it's something more readable. So 1 hour is equal to 3600 seconds. So this is 28 seconds. Now remember the problem also asked about how far the car traveled. So the distance the car traveled is of course equal to the speed of the car, the speed of the car multiplied by the time. So the speed of the car is 95 kilometers per hour multiplied by the time of 7.65 times 10 to the power of negative 3 hours. Put this into a calculator and we find a distance of about 0 0.73 kilometers. So that is how far the cars traveled in the case where they're going in reverse. All right, that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. Leave a comment below if you have a request or a question, and I hope you all have a lovely night. Bye-bye.